guys, this is Ryan here with BoxGuard Security. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to program your Honeywell wireless motion detector, the 5800 PIR Res. We're going to go over a few different ways to program that depending on where it's located in your house for the 5210 Lynx Touch and 7000. Let's take a look. Hey guys, so we're here and we're going to talk about how to program your Honeywell 5800 PIR Res motion detector into your Lynx Touch 5210. Uh, this programming will also work for the 7000, uh, but we're going to go through and show you how to program this guy. So one of the things with the 5800 uh, PIR Res, the LED will only work for the first few minutes after you power it up with the battery. Uh, to save power draw in the long run. So what you're going to want to do, as with any of the other contacts, is you're going to want to go to Tools, put in your installer code, which is different than your four-digit user code. Then we're going to go to Program, all of these glass breaks, motion detectors, doors, windows, uh, they're all zones. So we're going to go to Zones and let's say that we already have a few zones programmed and we want to make zone 6 uh, we highlight that zone and then go to edit we want to make zone 6 the basement motion detector what we're going to do then is go to zone description number 1 and basement. just start typing in the word basement that'll pop up, hit done, second word, we can do rear. rear, and then for device type, obviously we're going to select motion sensor. <clears throat> There's a few different types of responses, uh, response type that you could program this as, 90% uh, of your installations are going to have what's called interior follower. Uh, which means that this is an interior zone that will only be armed when your system is armed in the away mode. However, if you open an entry exit door, not a perimeter door, it can see this within that countdown time. And I'll give you an example. If you have a perimeter door, like a rear laundry door, and a motion detector in your laundry room and if you open that door it will trigger an alarm for the perimeter and then it will trigger an alarm for the interior motion detector if that laundry door is programmed as an entry exit zone discussed in one of our other videos for the 5816 and this is programmed as interior follower then what will happen is when you open up the laundry door it will start your entry exit countdown which is typically 30 seconds and it will see this uh, alarm trigger but it will hold it until that countdown and then if you don't put in your code or if it's an actual burglary it will send through both codes if everything is programmed properly most of these are going to be programmed as interior follower. Um, if you would have to walk through one of these to disarm in the morning, let's say a second floor hall, then you would want to put it as an interior with delay, which is right there. That means that if you walk in front of this, it will start the countdown timer on your 5210. Or your 7000. Um, most of these will be interior follower which is right there. Loop number one. Always one for a motion detector. If this is on two, three, or four it will not register properly and there's a few different ways to put in the serial number but one of the easiest ways on this is to just open it and then your serial number is right here. Um, <clears throat> if you trip the motion detector, it'll register, 
and then you can also double check 0866296 is the correct serial number that's in there which is another reason why I like to take the batteries out and put them in when I'm going through that process because you can actually see when this registers by that red LED lighting um, <clears throat> yes we wanted to report alarms chime disabled except for very rare circumstances where if you want to know where someone is walking into a room most of the times that would just drive you crazy keep the chimes off for motion detectors yes supervised and then save um, back out of it with this back arrow up here in the top right yes we're going to allow the installer to re-enter programming one more time and then now anytime that you walk in front of this motion it's going to give you a yellow bar up here and it's going to say basement rear motion um, right here where this house is here this will only trip a few times within a given time period uh, so this won't keep going on and on infinitely um, but that's a good way to test it um, and I believe that would be it for a simple installation like this typically these would be in a corner um, that would overlook a common entrance area across a few windows in a basement um, or bottlenecks second floor halls that would have access from a lot of rooms first floor foyers that would have access from a lot of front or rear windows and that's something that we're going to go over in the planning phase um, <clears throat> so pretty simple tools install our code pick the zone loop one register it as interior follower and then you can test your zone make sure and get out and allow the installer to get back in the programming stick around after the video we have all of our training notes on the 5210 how to program that from top to bottom at the end of this video and obviously we're going to have a lot more coming as we continue to load up this channel with lots of stuff to help you guys out Thanks for joining us today. I hope that you learned something. Make sure and give this video a like. Follow us. We're going to have lots more like this. How to install, uh, select, and uh, design a security system for your house or small business right here on FoxGuard Security. Thank you.